I love John Tortorella. This guy's got to be like one of the most famous coaches in the history of the sport at this point. If you're a hockey fan, you know Torts, and you can't wait for the two to three golden moments he gives you each year. Whether it's my personal favorite, you get that one through your head, Brooksy? Answering reporters' phones? Playing Eddie Lack instead of Roberto Luongo for the Heritage Classic, which ultimately led to Luongo getting traded? Pittsburgh whines enough for the whole league, so there's no more room for anybody else to whine? And of course, the Calgary locker room incident. This guy is immortalized in hockey lore as one of the most fiery coaches the sport has ever seen. It's funny though, because apparently players love playing for Torts, and you look at the proof is in the pudding, he's still coaching in the NHL right now. But one of Tortorella's most vintage signature moves is the benching. This guy loves to bench a guy if he's not playing the way he wants him to, and he won't just do it for a couple of shifts, no, 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 it'll be a significant amount of time. This guy benched Patrick Liney not even three weeks after he was traded to Columbus. And then for a separate situation a month later, he had to come out and clarify that he did not bench him. And then I'm sure we all remember that famous Pierre-Luc Dubois shift that we watched. And it, it, trust me, Torts stapled him to the bench, as I'm sure most coaches would have in that situation. And look, we've already seen a couple of high-profile benchings this season. Huberdeau sitting the entire third period, Gaudreau being sat for an extended period of time twice, Patrick Laine being benched, star players making a boatload of money being sat for a good chunk of time. But even that, if the player's not a healthy scratch, they're going to sit for, oh, the final 10 minutes of the third period, final 6 minutes of the third period, or if it's really drastic, the entire third period. What Torch just did was that times a 10. Now, later on in the game, when Garnet Hathaway was given a penalty for the play on Luke Hughes, Torts was hot. But there was something else that made him quite unhappy. Joel Farabee, who's supposed to be one of the Flyers' best offensive players, played just 56 seconds in that game against the Devils. One that went to overtime, mind you. He wasn't a healthy scratch. He wasn't injured. He just played 56 seconds, sat to the bench, and then a time-lapse video of him gets released where he's just opening and closing the door for the teammates. And you know what? Good on him for having a good attitude about it. Didn't pout, didn't hang his head. Despite that being one of the most embarrassing things that can happen to a hockey player, he took it like a pro. So yeah, when other coaches are getting applauded for a third-period benching, like, wow, that sends a real message. Torts is out here benching a top player for an entire game. And he was a little testy about it, might I even say defensive a little bit, with the reporters about it after the game. None of your business. Come on, guys, you know I'm not going to go there. You want me to keep answering questions here? Don't bring me into that spot. We know how John Tortorella is at this point, with reporters especially. He thinks that very little about what goes on in the locker room or even around the team is the reporter's business. That being said, he does understand the job, and he, he mentions it all the time. I understand you guys have a job to do, so he gets it, but he also has been around it so long that he knows that the reporter's looking for a quote to report on it to create a story and Torts wants to manage and navigate that so that this story doesn't get talked about for a week and I'm sure he's aware how eye-popping 56 seconds of ice time is so he did give an answer directly as to why Joel Farabee saw that little ice because he didn't listen so whatever Farabee didn't listen to whether it's the finer details of the game defensive side of the puck back checking flybys whatever it is like he said, it's none of our business, and apparently we're moving on here. But, hey, even he's got to admit that this was a pretty vintage Tortorella moment. 56 seconds, though, man. The timekeeper almost got more ice time than Joel Farabee. But again, good on the guy for handling it like an absolute pro, and we'll see what happens as we go forward here. If you want to see more Flyers videos, you make sure to like the video, because this is a team that I am interested in, obviously. And subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.